Hi everybody, I'm Sandy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about my January fabric haul. You know, we spend December doing so much for other people, so much sewing, cooking, visiting, partying, that January it's time to sit back and kind of regroup and do something for ourselves. So one of my, I wanna start by saying one of my New Year's resolutions is to try to work through my UFOs, my unfinished objects. And this is one of them back here. This is Vogue. 9218 I extended the length of the robe and I also have a pair of pajama bottoms to go with it and a little tee and I want to get that finished that's my first UFO and also I'm wearing the Belladon dress from um, Deer and Doe patterns and the silhouette Charlotte's wrap the Deer and Doe was on my hashtag 2018 make nine so it's my first one that I finished for that so let's talk about fabric and projects for the upcoming months. The first thing that was, uh, the first place I went to was Mood. I got a gift certificate for Christmas and what do you do with a gift certificate? You buy fabric. So I had this in my wish list bucket at Mood for quite a while. It is a cotton stretch denim and I want a white denim jacket. I had one for years, it was classic. I had it, it was vintage, I had it since high school. It finally just, couldn't be salvaged anymore, so I need to make a new one. I don't have a pattern for this, but I just moved this fabric from my wish list into my cart and purchased that. So that is going into my stash, but probably a spring project. You'll see that coming along fairly soon. One of the other, other items on my hashtag make nine is a leather jacket. Now I haven't made a leather jacket before. I've done a little bit of leather trims. So there's leather trim on this. I've done some leather trim on some other projects. And worked with some real leather that I've purchased from items at the Salvation Army store and recut. So this time I'm going to do a real leather jacket and I want to do a video through the process so that ought to be interesting. It will be the good, the bad, and the ugly and hopefully we come up with a finished product. So it's going on my cutting table this week. It is Silhouette Patterns, Ellen's jacket. And this jacket has some great details. It's got princess seaming, it's got these really fun pockets, grommets, ties, zipper front. There's details stitching on the back, so I'm looking forward to that, and I think it will make a great uh, video on the process of making that jacket. So I ordered a faux leather stretch um, pebble embossed, kind of a Cordobin color, like the oxblood that you used to have on the men's shoes. It's not very thick, it's fairly thin, so it will make a great spring leather jacket. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, just enough to give it some some movement. It won't be stiff when you wear it. It's got kind of a nice drape to it. So I am looking forward to making that video and sharing that process with you. I'm sure it will be very entertaining at parts. One of my other January projects was to open an Etsy shop and I actually did it. I finally got it open. I loaded up a bunch of my vintage patterns on there to sell and my next project is to add some of my patterns in kits and some completed garments. So I have two fabrics that I purchased from Mood to do that and the first projects that I'm putting up are a sleeveless uh, long vest and they're going to be lace. So the first one I have is a black Clooney lace and it's a really kind of a classic design but look at that eyelash edge that's going to be on the edge of the hem of the vest. So it's just a little shawl vest, a shawl collar vest, sleeveless, and it's great to wear over jeans, you wear it over a dress, there's so much fun. And this will be trimmed out in the black faux leather, which is what is trimmed out on this Belladon dress. The other fabric that I purchased for this project is a coral ombre lace. Oop, you can see I've already cut some of it. A coral ombre lace. Look at the edge on that. Isn't that the cutest edge you've ever seen? So that will be on the bottom of the fabric. And it's just this great ombre lace. I'll pop a picture of the finished one up there. So that's all my purchases from Mood. But once I started to make this vest, I realized that I couldn't trim it out in the black leather. It just would be too jarring. So I had to go find something to trim it out in. So that means I had to go to Joann's. And luckily, I actually found something there. I found this beautiful coral Georgette. Now, it's coral. On the screen, it looks pink. It's a little more orange, and it actually works really well with this. It's hard to tell with this photo, but it is a perfect match. So in this Georgette, uh, it, with a little bias binding on here, it just finishes off that little vest, and you'll see a picture of it in the, in the video. 
This Georgette is so yummy. It's got a little bit of stretch to it. It's super soft. And I thought, well, this will make a great blouse. And I have had uh, the Sew Over It Pussy Bow blouse on my list for a while. So I think that is going to happen with this Georgette. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I am also doing the Sew My Style 2000, hashtag Sew My Style 2018. And January's item was the Sunny Dress, which I made. It's super cute, little striped top. And February's item, the pattern just arrived today, is the Romana coat. Now I live in New England, it's great. It's a coat is definitely on my to-do list, but February is a little late to be making a winter coat. So I thought I would do it in a kind of a spring style. So I found this cotton print. It is very British. It's got lots of flags. It's about the British Postal Service. It has embossed gold writing on it, um, Soho and Joseph Foster and Sons and lots of uh, post office and the telegram. So it's super cute and it works really well with this Georgette. So, pussy bow blouse, long Rumana coat out of this great cotton, uh, probably put a white lining in it. It definitely needs to be lined. Now I need something to go with that. So I went into my stash and I found this pinstripe suiting so I'm going to make a skinny pant, long skinny pant, with the long Romana coat out of this British and the Pussy Bow blouse. And I think that that is going to be a super cute work outfit. I'm really looking forward to putting that on. So that is going on my cutting table this weekend along with the leather jacket. One of my other uh, wants to makes for this year, part of my 2019 make nine, 2018, huh, 2018 make nine, is Cynthia Guffey's blouse. Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to take a class with Cynthia Guffey or a seminar, she is a master tailor. Her cutting is beautiful and it's unique and it's very different. So I need to make a muslin, a wearable muslin out of this fabric. So I found this at Joann's. Now I have to say, Joann's, I went last weekend, they had 50% off everything. Then I had a 20% off coupon on my total purchase. So I got almost $400 worth of stuff for $145. I was blown away. So I have a ton of fabrics here and a ton of yardage. So I'm going to use this little floral. It's 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 kind it's a it's a cotton. It's probably a quilting cotton, but it'll be great for a blouse. It'll have to be ironed, but that's okay. It, uh, you know, it's it's kind of a really nice transitional here in New England. Spring is great, but it, it's hard to wear really bright colors like in March. So you need something that's transitional. So I thought this would be really nice. It's lightweight, but yet it'll be long sleeved, but it's not really heavy, but it's kind of dark. So, but it's got the little yellow flowers in it. So I thought it would be a great transitional fabric. So that will also be on my cutting table this weekend. I tend to cut a lot of stuff and then, you know, I might spend a whole day or half a day cutting out a bunch of patterns and a bunch of muslins and then making them up and then uh, two or three weekends and evenings just sewing them up. So that's my plan. Then because everything was 50% off and I had a 20% off coupon, I found this super cute little leaf print and I thought I would make a Silhouette Pattern 600 Classic Blouse. I love that, it's just a straight button down blouse, sleeveless. I wear them a lot under jackets for work. So I thought I would use that and if I have enough left over, maybe a cute little pair of shorts so it would look like a jumpsuit. I'm Probably too old to be wearing jumpsuits, but one piece outfits look okay. If not shorts, then maybe a skirt. We'll see how much I have. I think I only got three yards of this, so I might have enough to do shorts, but if not, certainly a skirt will work with that. Two more, two more. <laughs> this one, I couldn't resist. It was so bright and so lively and so vibrant. I wanna make sure it's upside right for you. How cute is that, right? Butterflies, birds, roses, a little bit of music, says summer all over the place. Now, one of the things that's missing from my wardrobe that's really in this year is a shirt dress. I'm thinking a little short sleeve shirt dress, kind of a button placket, long in the back, shorter in the front, slits up the sides. Um, won't that be cute? So that will also be on my cutting table, but first I have to find a pattern. I think I probably will just do a hack on the classic blouse pattern from Silhouette because I already have it fitted. Um, although one of the things that I would like in a blouse pattern is the stay, a separate stand. That one has a stand and collar all put together, so I may separate that 
Um, Bootstrap Patterns has a really cute one, I think, that, that I might use their collar and stand. They have a great uh, pattern for a blouse. And last but not least, I joined the PDF Club at Sew Over, London, Sew Over It London, and their PDF pattern for January is Charlotte's Dress. It's a cute little uh, faux wrap dress, and just because I love pink and because I love flamingos, I got this. So how wild is that? It's super soft and it's got this kind of dotted Swiss thing going on. I don't know. I just, um, oh, here's the right side. So maybe you can see it's a, it's a little fuzzy and it's kind of like a little dotted Swiss. You can see it rolling across the top. So cute. And it's super soft and super drapey. So I think it will make a kind of a really nice wrap front dress and the pattern will be muted a little bit. Um, and then the skirt will kind of show the pattern in the back. So that is my sewing plans for all my fabric haul for January 2018. I'm thinking I might get maybe four or five of them cut out in January. Most of them will be finished in February, I hope, with any luck. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I'm brand new at this. I'm still working my way through it. I will take all your comments and criticisms and certainly look at them. I know one of the things that I need to work on is the glare with my glasses. If anybody has any ideas on how to keep the room lighted but get rid of the glare, I would appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a great time sewing. Make sure you sew what's fabulous. This is Sandy from Barrett's Custom Design. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.